Good morning, friends and fellow adventurers. All right, what do we have for mail here? We've got, uh, Rain says, uh, tin bar, tin bar, tin bar. You can have, have it up, tin bar. So we got five of those. That's nice. And we got our animal research stuff back. Very good. Now, uh, yeah, somebody noted, um, you know, they, it's nice to see you too, Erwin. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Whoa, whoa, let's, let's pick a better weapon. I mean, uh, tool to hold. Um, how about that? Erwin's barn. Okay, no, 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 I don't want to read. I want to talk to you. Talk to Erwin. Maybe we should try and stay indoors. Weather well, like this can be dangerous. Bush devil can breathe fire, you know. They have a sack in the back of their throat that can spit a flammable liquid. They can be scary for sure, but I think they're beautiful animals in their own way. Are they, though? Hey, Rain. Storming all day, I reckon. What's up? What exactly are permit points anyway? I didn't grow up in South City, so I'm not quite sure what they, like, do. In fact, I don't really get the whole license thing. Why can't everyone just, like, do what they want and stuff? Pretty much uh, me agreeing with you right there. Okay, what do we have here? We've got a green floor light. Okay. And, uh, cool. And, buddy. Uh, I have some discs for you. Yeah, I've got five of those. Okay. 840,000? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Alright. So, yeah, not, not bad. I mean, for, you know, a day's... Uh, gathering there. Uh, yeah, as somebody noted, um, the idea of keeping um, some more cash on hand uh, as opposed to having it all in the bank. And uh, I've heard that lightning can sometimes uh, leave a thunder egg. You always take some time in your day to come and talk to me. I really appreciate that, you know, so thanks. Um, and I think that's probably a good idea. But what I can do is always put it back in the bank because my goal uh, was basically just uh, I'm trying to get as many of the um, permit points as possible, or license points, through the act of um, of uh, leveling up my bank account. But one of the things I could just be doing is, um, you know, putting it in there and then dumping it out later. Uh, there we go. Two pairs of those. Let's go pick this up and bring it to John. Hey, John, I got a giant... Oh, I got a giant lump of gold. Yeah, oh, sorry, Amber. 2.7, uh, you 50 grand? Yeah, I'll take it. Very good. And who's here today? Oh, hey, Sheila. Welcome to Tucker Box. What can I do for you? I want to sell high quality milk. Okay. All right, well, I don't think I have that much high quality milk. Let's go see. We got our flashlight. Our torch is all charged up. Um, my other tools seem to be, uh, they're okay. I'll use them today. Maybe we need to charge them up in the near future. Okay, and then we'll come and see, uh, here, what do we have for high quality milk? Um, nothing out here. And I was also reminded that, um, not reminded, I was informed because I didn't know about it, is that if you put, um, let's Oh, I was planting seeds. I see. That's what I was doing. Never mind. If you put a uh, high-quality product, um, cheese, into the cheese maker, uh, you will get um, low-quality stuff in return. Oops. Wrong thing. Which I thought was interesting. I wouldn't have thought to do that, to, to return the cheese back into the cheese maker. That does not make any sense to me, but I, I like that that's a thing. So that's good. Sorry, did we end up... Pet? Okay, we pet Lydia. Okay. I, did I end up milking Lydia? We did. Okay. Okay, let's take our milking bucket, put that away. Now, we can go look in the house. Um, the thing is, is that we're not going to have a ton, I don't think, unless I haven't used it all. I, I never milk Lydia. Like, it's just a thing I'm never doing. Okay, well, we got 15, uh, well, sorry, not 15, six more, whatever that is. And then what do we have over here? No, we got, like, some bottled brush and some jelly brew. And nothing else over here. Um, and someone was noting as well about uh, the idea of having some young chooks so that you get some small eggs to have some of those around. Um, and someone else had noted, um, you know, maybe having cooked up the meat and then giving that over to, um, to uh, what's his face, Ted Selly. Uh, I could have ended up gaining a bunch of cash doing that as well. So, yeah, lots of good suggestions, I think. Uh, oh, um, buy a new tool. Yeah, okay, we can do that. 
Well, you can do that. Which one do we need? Um, looks like I could probably use another shovel at some point, so let's go get one of those. Hey, John. It's a big spoon for dirt. I like it. I'll take it. Uh, okay, that was that. Um, I will buy... You know what? I'll buy mine pass in the future. Machine manual I do not require. Okay, good. It's sort of like 200 and some thousand. Um, now, well, permit point wise, I've got 1700. I needed, I think it was what, three or four grand at least. I don't even remember anymore. So we're, we're quite a ways off of that. And, uh, yeah, chatting to people, bug catching, right. Walking, tasting, crafting. So yeah. And then the grill master 257 out of a thousand. So, I mean, we've got 700 more stakes to do. Not anytime soon. We were doing a lot of tasks for people when I wasn't screwing up what they like to eat. That was good. Um, let's go see what's on the job board today. What did I have going on? Okay, Clover wants to trade. Dark Detective Pants. She'll take any clothing. Okay. Well, well let's give her... Uh, I mean, I've got... I had two pairs of these, these shoes. Oh, how do I get... There we go. It's like, how do I get one pair? Let's go see Clover. Oh, and then let's go sell this. Hey, Sheila, I got. I want to sell you some of the stuff. Okay, what would you give me for this? Forty-four thousand done. So we're at three hundred and what is that? Three hundred seventy-two thousand. Well, I don't need to buy flour. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, that's excellent. Um, and how far are we away from our? Hey, bud, let me check out my bank account. Uh, we're at 3.1 million, so I need, you know, six, uh, whatever, 850,000 more in order to get to that next one. Uh, I'm just going to keep, oh, I'm not going to bother taking money. I'm just going to keep earning here, I think. Let's go see. Oh, what are y'all doing here? Hey, Clover. Oh, no, you want to see what you have. Sorry, Clover, I was wasting your time there. Want to chat? Complete your request. Okay, here's what I have. Okay. Oh, we got some points there. Alright, very good. Now, huh. What was the... There's a thing about planting trees, isn't there? Uh, oh, timber. Okay, so we have to cut down like 300 more trees. We need to cut a bunch more stumps and... Uh, not a harvest master. Forest maker, that's the one. Okay, 338 out of a thousand. <laughs> so I think I, as a long-term project here, what I was trying to do was sort of build another forest effectively. Um, and then also break a shovel. But what I should do is I should wait until we have a day where I need a shovel broken to do that. So I'll get this one maybe close. Because that's what I was trying to do last time was to break the thing. And I'm just going to keep planting here. Uh, because I think that uh, we'll slowly get there. And I'm also going to... Uh, well, many it's going to meet many objectives. So let's get that done. And uh, yeah, I think uh, all told... I think we're doing okay. The, uh, I, yeah, all the help is, is fantastic. I love there's so many weird little things in this game that I wouldn't ever think about trying or doing that are, in hindsight, you go, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. But I, I don't know, I'm not seeing it at the time. Uh, there we go. Um, hey, bird. So, uh, and the, whatever, the, uh, what do you call those things? Oh my gosh. The termites. Those can be used as bait for one of the critters. Kidnas, maybe? It's one of the critters. I don't remember which one. Um, that's interesting. I, I always forget that's one been, has been mentioned to me, and I, I was like, because I always think there's no use for them. But there is a use for them. Bait. Need to be doing that someday here. Okay, now we get a wackadoodly here with our 
planting. Things just go odd. Why don't we go, we'll go this way. Oh, look at that weather. I love it when it changes. The dynamic weather is such a great thing in this game. It really, I, it, it you don't, I don't find myself fixating on the weather in the same way as that normally you'd, when the weather starts out crummy, you're kind of like, eh, today's a crummy day. I, I can imagine there's probably some players that just go back to bed. <laughs> just think, forget it. Well, I'm not doing this. Let's do another day. But this dynamic weather is like, it just feels natural for one, but it also is a little bit more encouraging. You think, oh, well, well, let's just get out there and get our stuff done. And then later the weather might, uh, you know, get itself settled to meet our mood, which is kind of nice. Uh, all right, 21. Yeah, we're doing okay on getting a load of these things. Oh, um, my, I'd like a shovel. I'm a big fan of shovel. Okay, there we are. Don't throw your shovel in the hole. It's not the it's not the best way to plant things. It's not a nutrient. The 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 seed is not going to feed on the on the shovel. Okay. Yeah, 16 more of these. Wow. So we're going to have all these. That's good. All these seeds planted. Uh, it's one of those activities. It I, I don't mind doing it. It's uh, it's kind of pleasant. It's 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 the kind of thing that again I I always underestimated in in let's plays. I think where people often enjoy, and I do too. I when I'm watching like family play a video game, like I'll watch my wife still playing um, Tears of the Kingdom, and I. I will watch it just kind of endlessly. It's just kind of like soothing to watch, I guess, and just hang out. And uh, it's one of the only games I'll watch somebody play. <laughs> I've never played. I never played any of the uh, of it really. Very little. Only I'll, I'll take over for a second if there's something I, that requires one of my dumb skill sets, which is not very often. Uh, but the uh, process of watching the, you know, just the wandering around and gathering things and dealing with stuff and, you know, traveling around, trading with a beetle or whatever, it's just, it's pleasant, it's enjoyable. And so there's that element in games that, uh, let's see, let's go palm tree seeds now. I find, um, yeah, I definitely think about games a lot differently now uh, after doing Let's Plays. Like, it's changed the way I think about what what people want in games and what is enjoyable in games it's interesting just from like a game design perspective it made me think a lot more about the kinds of activities and tasks that we uh, sometimes i i think oh well that's not going to be exciting to people but i think that's not what it's about at all again depending on the kind of game oh hello oh interesting so if you plant a seed there that exploded that thing in one go. Um, that big uh, oil drum. Oh no, uh, put that there. Weird. Um, but yeah, at any rate, the uh, so it made me, makes me think, you know, activities like this, which at first blush are kind of like tedious, are kind of it's can be kind of soothing in their own way. Okay, oh, well, again, I'm not, oh, because there's an axe. Is that what it is? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not even sure. I'm not paying enough attention. I'm kind of, again, it's just like a nice space out activity. Okay, so let's just do another row here. Let's start, I think I'll start here where we got this going. This is going to be a monstrous forest. This is great. I've got the other 500 to plant. I think I will. <laughs> That's the thing. I think it's going to be worthwhile doing because um, we need to do it at some point. I, it's one of those like, well, I'm not going to do it later. Like, And if we do it now, we'll have all the wood we'll ever need for the remainder of the game. And then we'll also we'll have those tasks done. We'll have a nice island. We've, we'll have, you know, be covered in trees. It's kind of a win-win. Okay, I've got to pay attention to my shovel damage here to make sure I don't like break this one um, let's again not let's not put the dirt in there there we are 
Yeah, I think it's when there's a grass seed present, it seems to screw it up. Uh, come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Weird. Okay, that's all fine now. I'm trying to think of what I've been doing lately. This weekend I watched uh, the whole several uh, Hitchcock movies that I hadn't, uh, I don't think I'd seen. Like I, I, like 30 years ago, I watched a whole pile of Hitchcock movies and really enjoyed them. Um, but there was a bunch of like, you know, bunch of ones that I just, oh, that's maybe a little too deep. Oh, interesting. So if you do that, you can't kind of fix it. <laughs> Weird. Okay, we planted that too deep. Um, okay, now this should destroy this, right? Yeah, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, if you plant a seed, then fill it. It doesn't destroy your shovel as quickly. Okay, now, uh, you know what? We're going to go back and grab this one. Then I'll grab that and move that there. There we are. Um, yeah, I watched uh, Shadow of a Doubt, which is a really phenomenal movie. I don't think I had seen it. If I had, I hadn't seen it in many, many like decades. So I don't remember it. It didn't. I usually remember movies, even if it's been 30, 40 years, and I don't recall seeing it. So I'm pretty sure I hadn't. Um, so, such a good movie. It was. It's one of those like. It's beautiful. It's so well shot, and from a '40s noir, it's the 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 care and the the, the attention to the kinds of shots and stuff um, in it, it is really phenomenal. Like you see why Truffaut um, uh, adored Hitchcock when you watch a movie like that. You can see the the kind of thing he saw. I think in in those films. Um, okay, we're out of those. Let's let's put these down here. Gumnut, you're in. Anyway, I enjoyed that one quite a lot. And then I watched um, Torn Curtain, Paul Newman and Julie Andrews, a Cold War take, which at first I was like, oh, this is really boring. And then uh, in the end, I was also, this is really boring. I, d I don't know. I was, it. I bounced off it. Um, like I got, I enjoyed, you know, conceptually, I enjoyed what he was trying to do. Um, but the, uh, I, you know, it's a hard thing to maintain tension in a movie for like two hours plus, and that's what you kind of required him to do, I think, because he's trying to tell this like taut, you know, spy type of tale. And so it, it's a different kind of story because normally, you know, there's like some action, there's some reaction, there's some suspense that builds up, there's a resolution. This was like a, a lot of like action, 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 and just like the players continually trying to um, sort of escape the, or the situation gets, like fairly early on you know what this, the score is, and then it's a lot of like will they, won't they escape, and you, it's, I don't know, it kind of loses its tension, it sort of fizzled out. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it was kind of, yeah, I don't know, it was, they're really good performances. Um, also, one of the most harrowing murder scenes uh, in, of, like, where they've got to, like, silently kill a, a Cold War agent. And uh, they got to do so, you know, without raising a bunch of noise. And uh, the whole thing is horrifying. And it, it truly, like, you can, you can see the template of how many films copied that, that murder scene. Um, it's like one of those things where you you go that seems like ground zero of that type of murder scene it's really really brutal um, very effective very horrifying and uh, yeah at any rate that was that was something but other than that the film has all these kind of like little mystery set pieces that are almost like I don't know, suspense set pieces I would say maybe is better um, or it tries to get you feeling the suspense uh, okay let's put that shovel back <laughs> At any rate, I, I don't know. It wasn't uh, wasn't as enjoyable. And then I, I just cut into uh, Lifeboat, I think it was called, which right out of the gate seems like it's going to be really good. It's like a, another war film about... Okay, bud, are you going to move? Do they do anything when you... Okay, I'm filling you in. Okay, you're a part tree now. 
um, yeah, at any rate, it was, it was, it was so far so good. But uh, it's watching some Hitchcocks that I just hadn't seen. Like I've seen some of his early stuff, some later stuff. He seems like a horrible person. I, I like I don't, yeah, I don't know that he's like you know, uh, Roman Polanski horrible. But he's just like he doesn't seem like a nice guy. <laughs> I don't think that's surprising to anybody. I mean, it's Hitchcock. I don't, I don't necessarily expect that he's probably a very nice guy, but. Uh, yeah, beyond like anything specific, he, it's still remarkable. You can see why the influence is there, I guess what I'm saying. Um, quite a remarkable director capable of uh, dealing with the kind of suspense and stuff. So, at any rate, um, yeah, that's a lot of what I was watching lately. I finished watching Peaky Blinders, speaking of horrifying things. Uh, very happy to be done watching that, that series. Enjoyed it a lot. I uh, enjoyed like the music a lot. Like so good. So many things I enjoyed about it. Um, apparently, I don't know. Again, I'm in Canada, so I don't know if I got the British music. It seemed like it. I don't. Apparently, it was changed elsewhere because of licensing. But I don't know if that's affected us because we seem to get very good music. Um. Anyway, yeah, I can see why Killian Murphy is. You know as acclaimed as he is it was really well done uh very sick of it when when it was done though i was like okay i don't want any more of this and there's i think they're making a movie and i'm like okay i'll watch it again but i want it to be done <laughs> but it was so well done but uh so violent and there was a lot of like um violent in a way where i was like dude i didn't need to see that i don't i don't need knowledge of how garroting somebody works like i don't want to know the mechanics of this why would i care about this I don't plan on you know joining the mafia anytime soon. It's I know it's surprising, like, but no. Um, but beyond that, it was very well done. I do I do not have a stomach for violent things. I, I'm very tired of the the idea of modern because we can show things with special effects. We insist on doing them, and I'm I'm so done with it. It's like it's it's kind of boring in and of itself. It's like using CGI to be flashy just because you can not because you should and anyway that's a whole thing but uh yeah quite over violence in film i think uh there's so many better ways of doing it without you know showing um I mean, even the hitchcock which was probably quite violent for its day is still more effective and it's not about showing it's not graphic uh in terms of like somebody's you know being eviscerated it's just like it's more, it, it is horrifying, but in, I don't know, it's not as explicit, I guess. All right, 630, the day has gone by. And yeah, and I, I think I'm gonna watch some funnier things now. I've watched horrible things for uh, the past couple months. <laughs> I deserve to watch something funny. Uh, which which I do enjoy some funny things. I know surprisingly I don't watch as much comedy as I probably should, but uh, I do enjoy watching it. Um, let's see here. So I got 446 left. I'm uh, clearly not going to get these done. Um, it's not a bad day. We got our tasks done. We got all these trees planted. I mean, this is a stupid amount of trees. I've been meaning to do this, but also like I didn't really want to do this because it is so tedious. Uh, but just nattering away, it actually kind of goes quick, which is makes it nice. It's kind of like a start here, like when you have to do a big task. Sometimes you just gotta have a a subject because I can't talk about trees here for the whole time. I mean, I, I guess I could. My 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 potted history of trees, my personal potted history of trees, trees I've known. Um, that was not uh, not the most interesting. Oh, hello. Um, I do live in a very tree-based province, so oddly, I probably would have lots of weird stories about trees. We we do um, yeah, forestry is one of my province's main uh, industries, and I grew up in a forestry town. Um, so definitely have a close tie to forestry. What is that thing? Demon bug, what are you? You're a stink bug. All right, well, indeed. 
I'm going to let you be. Stink and let stink, buddy. You just continue on your way there. All right. I think the uh, the other thing I've spent a bunch of my time doing is I've been watching um, tutorials on and, and starting to learn how to use uh, the Godot game engine. Um, that's been uh, super fun. I've actually, and not sarcastically, I've enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, do I have any food? Do I not have any food? I don't have any food. Okay, well that's it. We're eating vombat poo and fertilizer. I might drink some old contraption oil to wash it down. Uh, yeah, I don't have any food. Well, I guess that kind of is going to stop our activities for the day because we're getting all like, Oh, I'm, I'm getting tired, boss. Uh, I'm sleepy. Ugh, look at me, I'm sluggish. Okay, let's, let's go over here and have a snack. What is that? Oh, it's a dog tail. Hey, bud. Okay. Uh, I gotta say that uh, we maintained a lot of stamina through the day doing that activity. Like, more so than I would have expected. That uh, I would have thought we would have been pretty much dead by the end of the day. That uh, is very telling to me that we've, um, like the title sequence thing says, as you get progress in the game, your capacity improves dramatically. And uh, definitely it has. Probably going, hey, how's it going there, Theodore? Must be nice getting watched all day. I don't think I can handle the attention, though. Though, maybe if people formed an orderly queue, it wouldn't freak me out so much. <laughs> you know, we just, yeah, no, we just charge people, and then they come and watch Theodore. Hey, nice to see, buddy. Uh, all right, let's go and cook these. Why not? I don't think we need to uh, do much. So yeah, like uh, on a nothing, but we didn't even eat an egg today. Like we did nothing and yet we were like loaded up on on stuff. So that's really good. Okay, and then we've also ground up all of our um, sugar cane. That's good. Okay, we're almost done here. That's a successful day. So yeah, I don't know how many trees we got planted, huh? Well, like a lot, feels like. Let's check it out. What do we have? Um, fruit buried? No, not that one. Although I'm curious about that. 760250. That one we could have almost, like, we could do quicker, I think. Break 48 out of 100 tools. I can't believe we've broken 48. Forest maker, there we go. 528 out of a thousand. So we're over halfway. So we must have done 150 or so trees at least. Uh, the next 450, that's still a lot. That's a lot of trees. I mean, I have to plant all these seeds basically. And then a few. That which is wild to me. Okay, oh, yeah, and there we go. We're almost uh, stamina restored. So that's good. Okay, the honey's doing fine. What you doing over here? You just have a little little soak? That's good. How are you doing, Fletch? I didn't see anything in this mark. Is that you? Well, you got to get out of it. It's probably pretty gross, this water. Um, if I remember correctly, my old home was located on the far northwest coast, or maybe it was southeast. Hmm. I'll tell you what. When I remember, I'll let you know. My old home. Be interesting to run into that. I don't think we do run into anything like that. That's intriguing. I definitely feel like I probably should expand this animal area at some point. Like, I don't know how we do that. Um, we we definitely should you have some more critters in here, I think. I should be doing a better job at taking care of the critters as well. I don't think I'm doing a particularly good job of that. Uh, fertilizer. I think we'll put that there. And then, yeah, everything else is looking good. Okay, and then we'll put our our spoils of digging here. Let's put those away. What do we got? Boop. Got some technology. Take that. Technology. There we go. So, uh, have we done all the... Yes, we've ground up all the sugar cane. That's wild. Okay, and then we'll come here and we'll put that here, put that here, and load these up. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so grass seed. So now we'll get some more uh, food done because I don't even know. Are we? I've been paying no attention. Uh, that's looking pretty empty. Yeah, that's looking real empty. Do I have any? No, I would have put it all in. I don't have any excess. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't have the machine book. Oh, I do. Hold up. Okay. Oh, no, it's just tell me what I can put in here. Interesting. I don't know that I have I ground any corn up. I don't feel like I have. Huh. But it will take the other seeds as well. So, which which other seeds is that? It's the... The fur grass seed and the tropical grass seed. Oh. Okay. Well, that's kind of good to know. So definitely can grind those up. Yeah, I, I feel like these take a while. I don't really remember, though. But it's only 10.30. We can wait a couple minutes. Let's put away anything that we have that goes in here. Boop. Have some stuff. Uh, yeah, we got a decent haul of things, don't we? That's uh, that's looking good. I feel like we smelted all the things we needed to smelt as well. I don't think there was any more. No, we do need to smelt more. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's put these things here. Let's grab... Um, sure, I'm gonna, I'll smelt some copper. I'll do that. Okay, there we go. And this is done. Perfect. Okay. All right, and there we go. There's a little bit. I mean, it's just a skiff, just a, just a tiny bit. I don't know how many I want to make here. I want to keep a little bit because somebody always has a request. Although we find this stuff like all the time. So yeah, it's hard to believe I still have how many was it hundreds? Three hundred fifty bars still to make. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These activities are ludicrous. Like they really are. Uh, yeah, it's we'll get there, but it's gonna take still a long time to get there. The, but again, I guess it depends on what you focus on, or how, you, how. If you keep up on these activities, it's probably more of a natural progression. Like you don't lurch in any one activity as we seem to do. We seem to just lurch forward. Oh, we'll get one thing done. Oh, there's another thing. Okay, let's get. It's eleven twenty-seven. We should go to bed soon. I was kind of hoping to get another batch of seeds uh, pumped on through there. I mean, I guess that's one good thing is we have picked up a bunch of spare seeds laying around. I still needed to do that scything challenge as well. As I always say, I always felt when I started playing this game, I, I, I really liked it, but I was like, well, so I wonder what your drive is in the long run. Like, what kind of motivates you? And uh, yeah, no, I get it now. It's It's the that drive. It's the drive that you get with these kinds of games where you're like, I want to do it for its own sake. You want to build the farm and maximize everything and complete the stuff. And uh, this one got its hooks into me pretty quick and and quite thoroughly. I've enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's still a solo developer, but my gosh, it's such a remarkably well-built game. I, I'm, I'm quite astounded at what a lovely game it is. It really is. Uh, yeah, it's a real. I like it, this gets me. I get this way more than I enjoy, say, the Animal Crossing games, even in a, in its own way. It's weird. Um, I mean, I love what those games do in some ways. There's lots of things I find I don't enjoy about those games, but uh, yeah, this one does so many cool things. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Boop, and we'll just put this away. Okay, and then I've got a whole mountain. I'll, I'll gr start getting that going next time. Now we'll have to get the animals some more food. Oh, we got some more. Harvest these bush limes here. Don't just leave those hanging out. Hey, gang. Have a good sleep. We'll see you all next time. All right. Till then, bye-bye.